hi guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video we'll be learning about extracting soil moisture data from uh, google earth engine and in this case we'll be using a uh, smap soil moisture so talking about the smap smap is uh, also called as soil moisture active passive and uh, when uh, searching in google you can see more about it and uh, it is a uh, satellite that was launched by nasa and that uh, measures soil moisture across the planet and uh, while soil uh, measuring the soil moisture around the planet this can be used in various purposes that includes weather forecast droughts and predicting flood crop productivity and water energy and carbon cycles and many other purposes uh, also you can see in this website i will give this uh, link on the description also and you can find many usefulness of this uh, data so talking about uh, soil moisture data extraction from google earth engine you can see i have already coded this data you can see the final output is will be like this it will take some time to load and it will be the final output and for this uh, you don't need to worry about it i'll give the code in the description below now you can go from that i'll give the github link and you can download from that so let's search about this map in google earth engine what we'll find okay you can see we will go with the third nasa usda enhanced smap global soil moisture data and it is being uh, supervised by spl this uh, link and you can see the description of the data you can uh, this data set includes subsurface surface subsurface soil moisture profile and subsurface soil moisture anomalies and generated by integrated uh, active passive and level three soil moisture data. this is level three soil moisture observation and you can see also the bands also soil moisture from 0 to 25.39 maximum and unit is mm and som sm and all this you can see here in citation also and uh, you can directly copy the snippet and input it uh, in your code or right here from your import or you can see like this also uh, since uh, i have imported a variable as shp i have created a geometry here here in my location in nepal here is the <laughs> geometry that i have created let me show you or you can also create a new save file layer sorry uh, let's create so let's uh, remove this and create a soil uh, around here and polygon around here i will create this polygon around here you can name it as here you can change from here also ssp and after that you can see while searching this map i got uh, this code here i have copied this and pasted it as uh, e here i have pasted the same here and this is the one that i copied and uh, i have stored it in a variable name image collection and i like to filter it from 2021 january 1 to 2021 december 28 and after this you have to select the band so you can see here you can see which type of data you want i need so surface soil moisture data so i will select the uh, surface soil moisture this is the shortcut uh, uh, short form of soap, surface soil moisture and i will remove this so to remove this you can to control slash and it will remove and after this i will i want to print the number of data that is present in this time span so from january to december how many data are present so i will run once and you can see in the console the number of data that are present so it is shown that 
soil moisture is not defined let me remove this and write as image collection and i will run this as after running this you can see the image collection is computing and you can see the number of data that is shown here here the feature the number of feature is 120 you can see from january to december there are 120 images and you can see <coughs> that id uh, nasa usda is map sm 2021 uh, january 3 to 2021 january 5 so it is the image between january 3 and january 5 similarly january 6 to january 8 january 9 to january 11 so in this way it is taking the image from every three days and after that i will go to the visualization of the images so for that i will create the variable palette so this will be used to give different color to the different uh, data so a different value of data different range of data it will be used in uh, giving color to different range of data ranging from very dry to very moist soil and after that you can you have to create a variable that will be used to visualize the data so for maximum 28 28 is the mm band value and the minimum is uh, zero from zero band value to maximum 28 band value and palette will be my palette we have given and bis is the visualization parameter and <clears throat> after that what we want to do is we want to uh, add the visualization parameter and sm also uh, so what i will do is i will add a new layer on my map uh, which will be the filtered uh, sm so filtered uh, is this is the filtered uh, sm soil moisture and uh, i want to add the mean value of all the data so for ranging from january to december i want to take the mean value and uh, the visualization parameter will be bis and the layer name will be sm so when i run this code this will show all the value So you can see in layer here is a sm new layer this is the sm layer when i change the name to soil moisture it will change here also soil moisture and run it will also change the name to soil moisture so this is the layer name I do not get confused about that and after that you can see you can get all the uh, soil moisture value so when i zoom in this is the mount everest area so in mount everest area you can see the soil moisture is maximum uh, this blue refers to the maximum soil moisture and red refers to the minimum soil moisture means dry area and maximum means wet area so this is the soil moisture data for all the area so when i want to get the soil moisture for individual uh, uh, individual uh what i what we say this uh pixel uh that is uh around a nine into nine kilometer area uh what i want to do is i want to inspect click on the inspector and i will click on the uh one square uh, when i click on this it will show the soil moisture of this uh square so 13.49 mm is the soil moisture of this square when i uh, click on this it will give next value that is 23 so when i click on more blue value it will give more value 25 and when i click on red it will give less value 4 so this is for all the data so when i uh add the i when i comment this and remove this comment and run the code it will give the surface uh, soil moisture of the first image that is on the first um, image of the data so here you can see the feature is of uh, soil moisture of this is of soil moisture 
uh, fast soil moisture, not of all. This is of the fast soil moisture that is of third, third January, and it is clipped in in our area of interest. This is that uh, SHP is the area of interest, and it shows the soil moisture within the area of interest only. So in this way, you can get the soil moisture of your area of interest. And uh, when I again comment this and make this as our uh, code, uh, we can uh, get the individual band value um, or you can get the time series data of individual pixel ranging from uh, January to December. So when I run this code, and I have clipped it into my save file and I will inspect on this. So when I inspect on this, you can see the time series value of uh, this pixel. And you can see from uh, first data to last data, there are 120 values in this graph. And uh, when I, you, if you want to export this as CSV file format, you can click on this and you will get this and you can download on csv svg and png also and after that if you want to export this image to drive also you can <coughs> export the using this code uh, in this uh, way we can uh, get soil moisture data from google earth engine uh, the smap soil moisture data and you can use in your one project also uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I guess this video was uh, useful for you uh, If you get any problem while using this code, don't forget to uh, Comment down and Thank you very much for watching